Welcome to a new In The Mail, the series that will touch both your passion for electronics and your bank account at the same time. My first item is this interesting looking magnetic USB charger. I actually had the idea of uh, building something like this maybe two years ago when I started playing with uh, those uh, small neodymium magnets like these ones and trying to use them as uh, electrodes for connecting to uh, batteries while I was testing them with a dummy load. By looking at the back of the packaging we learn it can do a maximum of uh, one amp and work as a charger for the lithium battery but also as a charger for an external device. Quite a neat idea so let's uh, take a closer look The magnets are quite strong actually, that's a good thing, they will uh, stay on the battery so they won't uh, bump off the battery easily. So this is designed to work with uh, lithium cells and the uh, most popular one I think it's uh, this one, the 18650. Uh, so let's try to connect it, uh, this is positive, this is negative. So we can try to charge this uh, small power bank. Okay, so the power bank is charging right now because the red LED is blinking. And uh, in here we should see a blue LED which is uh, very low intensity. I can barely see it with the lab lights I have in here. And we can also try the other way around where you plug the uh, charger into a power bank and now the power bank is charging the lithium battery and we should see a green LED blinking. Yeah, we can see that also low brightness and when that LED uh, stays solid green it means the battery is uh, fully charged. One thing I noticed is that it doesn't work with a uh, USB tester in line. I tried the USB tester because I wanted to check the output current and the voltage, but no luck there. I think it tries to detect if a device is present or not before enabling its uh, output and the USB tester uh, might interfere with that detection. However, it does output uh, one amp because uh, I've powered it from my uh, bench power supply instead of using the lithium cell and it was uh, drawing more than one amp from the bench supply. I got this uh, gadget from banggood.com for about uh, $9. I think sometimes uh, they go on sale for about $8 and you'll find a link uh, to this in the description below. My next item is a set of uh, strobing lights. Let me get them out of this uh, bag. This is how they look. Looks like in here they have a capacitor. So I got these for a new RC plane I am building. I wanted to have some nice uh, lights to make it visible from a decent distance. It's nice that they make these in such a small compact size. The model I got here also has this uh, DC to DC converter in line. I think the lights themselves work on 5 volts and they added this uh, DC to DC converter so you can power them from a wider range of uh, batteries which should be uh, in the range of 6 to 25 volts DC. Let me connect these to my bench power supply and show you how they work. As a warning there will be some flashing lights. So the flash happens very quickly, I'm not sure how much of it is uh, visible on camera, but it's a pretty powerful light. If you notice, they started with a delay between them, so I'm guessing they paired these from the factory so that they have a different time constant to have them trigger alternatively. The light is bright as you would expect from a xenon flash and I'm sure they look great on my plane. I'm not sure on the EMC though, I'm worried these might affect sensitive electronics like the flight controller or the RF receiver and transmitter on board. 
So I'm gonna try to keep them as far away as possible from any important electronics. My next item is yet another 1.3 inch OLED screen. It should be white with the SH1106 driver. That was the description of the item at least. I always keep one of these as a spare because uh, I like these OLED displays and I tend to use them whenever I design a board that needs some kind of screen. Once you solder the uh, flat flex to the PCB and you add some double sided tape, it's uh, difficult to remove and uh, re reuse these without damaging them. So that's why I need to get another one from time to time because I'm building new boards. This type of screen is supported by uh, many libraries, so it should be easy to get it up and running in uh, just a few minutes. A link to where I got this will be provided in the description below. Next, I got myself some uh, nozzle cleaning needles for my 3D printer. Each year starting November and uh, ending around January, there is such a massive influx of packages coming from China into Europe and into Romania as well that the already shitty postal service here gets overflowed and packages just sit in a warehouse for months. I ordered these late October and I got them mid January. So you can get an idea of uh, how long I need to wait to get stuff from China. So far I did like 10 prints in total with my uh, CR10 3D printer. I use uh, PLA, the default profile in uh, Cura. I followed uh, the procedure of retracting the filament after each print and I haven't had any issues uh, so far with uh, clogged nozzles. But um, it's good to have these around when the problems will appear I'm pretty sure these will be useful for doing some uh, cleaning on the 3D printer nozzle. My next item was a total mystery when I ordered it uh, two months ago. The, lit the title of the page is very misleading on Banggood. It starts with a three modes rechargeable LED fidget spinner and I believe at the time of uh, purchase it wasn't as long and didn't say anything about cigarette lighter. But now I think I understand this is a, uh, a heating element that will turn red hot allowing you, allowing you to light a cigarette maybe. That is also suggested by the additional images that I can now find on the product page. I am not a smoker myself but the item looked interesting so I got one. Let's connect it to uh, 5 volts through this uh, USB jack and see how it works. Okay, so we got some flashing LEDs. You know what, I should better plug this through the USB uh, analyzer because that way we can see when it pulls uh, a lot more power. Okay, so just uh, 10 milliamps. <laughs> I am cycling through different uh, modes of uh, lighting these LEDs. I believe there was a mention of holding this button for 3 seconds. Let's see what happens when we do that. It doesn't look to pull more than 10-20 milliamps. I'm not sure how this works. So I've tried messing with this in all kinds of ways. I tried pushing the switch in all kinds of uh, uh, combinations. But I just can't get it to uh, start the heating element. And I'm pretty sure this should get red hot because I've seen some pictures uploaded by the users on Banggood. So I either have a defective unit or I don't know how to use it. But uh, I think this is supposed to be a cigarette lighter. 
I just uh, can't get this one to work and I'm not sure what's wrong with it. My next item is a 16-bit ADC. It's the ADS-1118. Let's uh, get it out of the anti-static bag. So this uh, tiny ADC has quite an interesting uh, set of uh, features. Like I said, 16-bit 4-channel Delta Sigma ADC with a programmable gain amplifier internal reference and internal temperature sensor so you could use that to do some temperature compensation i got this from ebay for about three dollars and i'm hoping it's a genuine model because i intend to use this in a project where the uh, built-in stm32 12-bit adc uh, will not cut the mustard anymore you might want to give this one a try if you are working for example with the built-in adc inside the admega328 because uh, those are usually only 10 or 12 bits and really not good enough for uh, any um, high resolution sensing. On a simple Google search for ADS 1118 fake, uh, I did not find any relevant results, so I'm not sure if the uh, Chinese are faking these already or not. My next item is a power supply kit which was uh, recommended by one of my viewers in the comment section. The kit is advertised as a LM317 um, power supply kit. Let's see, do we have some seal screen? Yep, so uh, circuit designed by 3AG1. Is this like a call sign? Not sure. PCB designed by circuit design. 3AG1. So the uh, PCB might be uh, designed in 2015. Well, uh, it has been manufactured by uh, uh, Shaolin in 2017. So uh, yeah, I need to do some um, some Google searching on this uh, call sign and see if I, I can find the original author of this uh, power supply. The kit is advertised as uh, LM317 on eBay. But if you look closer at the provided schematic, uh, the LM317 is uh, only used as uh, power for the cooling fan. As you can see, they use a thermistor in the feedback of the LM317 to control the voltage going to the fan, thus obtaining a uh, temperature controlled uh, cooling fan. The actual power supply design is not based on the LM317 regulator. It doesn't use any op-amps, but uses four TL431 voltage references and a bunch of transistors. I haven't seen anything like this before. Uh, although I'm pretty sure the design is not new, I will be building it and testing uh, this power supply in a separate video coming soon. But until then, you will find a link in the description below if you want to uh, order one yourself. Next up, I have a set of XT60 connectors. These type of connectors are used heavily in the RC world. They are polarized and you can't accidentally uh, plug them uh, in backwards. Pretty safe in that regard. Uh, they are also uh, shrouded, so uh, they give you some nice isolation to your connection. And they should be good for 60 amps continuous without exceeding 80 degrees Celsius. That is if they're genuine. There are also lots of fakes coming from China, so it depends on where you get these. Uh, the fakes don't have the same good quality contacts and they don't use the same nylon for the connector housing. So those might not work as well with uh, 60 amps continuous. But as I plan to use these for just uh, 20 amps at best, I don't care, they're gonna do the job just as well. But don't forget, you'll need to use some uh, thick wires and do some nice soldering uh, to run all that uh, current through them. And our last item uh, for today is uh, this polishing kit, which uh, comes with a tube a paste and this uh, small sponge. Let's get it out. So the idea is to use the um, a small sponge to rub the paste on the surface you plan to uh, polish. In a previous uh, video I uh, showed my ISDT Q6 uh, charger and how scratched the uh, front panel is. Some people recommended I should try to polish it with some toothpaste or one of these uh, cheap eBay uh, polishing compounds. I don't have any experience with this but I ordered this uh, cheap kit 
and I'm gonna give it a, a try. I'm probably gonna update you on the uh, results in an upcoming uh, weekend update video. It's interesting this uh, sponge seems to have two surfaces so maybe you're supposed to start with this surface which is a bit uh, rougher and then continue with this uh, fine surface until you remove the scratches. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna let you know the results because it's uh, quite cheap to get one of these. It was about $1.25 shipping included. So it's uh, if it uh, works, it's certainly well worth getting one of these. This was all for today. Don't forget to hit the like button and use the links I post in the description below to do your purchases. That way you can help support the Vlog channel. And thank you for watching. I will see you next week.